and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fearsome rally. This is going to be our next donation deck here on Meme Tier Monday. This deck is going to be playing a bunch of fearsome cards from Shadow Isles, like your Arachnoid Horror, Elise, you know, your Spiders, Frenzied Skitter, um, but then also your Mist Wraith, so your Spiders and Wraiths. So we got Mist Wraith and Wraith Caller to bring, to bring Mist Wraith here. So of course, Wraith Caller, we need our Allegiance. We need to have lots of Shadow Isles, and that's what we, what we have. But what we want is we want to have all these um, fearsome cards, and then we want to be able to attack more. And so we're going to have two Rel Relentless Pursuits in here to be able to rally so we get that extra attack. Now there's also a brand new uh, fearsome champion, Nocturne, that's come out that can, uh, if we have the Nightfall, we can give our enemies minus one, minus zero, make it even more difficult for them to block. So maybe we can have Nocturne um, give them the minus one, minus zero, or of course Frenzy Skitter, give them the minus one, minus zero. We have two options there. So make it so they can't really block, and then that turn also be able to cast Relentless Pursuit and be able to rally. So we can get some big alpha attacks with those. Um, let's see. So we also have we have Oblivious Islander in here that's a, a cool little combo with like the Ephemeral thing from Stalking Shadows, or that can help us on that final turn play like an extra Frenzied Skitter or Nocturne um, to go along with Relentless Pursuit. You know, So that can just kind of help mana-wise. So we got that in here. Uh, let's see. And that's kind of about it. All right, so let's go play some Fearsome Rally. We're gonna go play five games over in Ranked. And let's see how we do. Ooh. All right, playing against Heimerdinger. So best case scenario is they do not draw Heimerdinger. So let's go for that. So no one drop, but a good two, three, four. Well, I guess not really a good two, three, four, because Doom Beast isn't a good three. Wraith Caller is just so powerful. Do I? I think I'm going to keep it, even though it's a four mana card. Um, we could keep Glimpse Beyond if we want to keep playing. If we want to play for the longer game. I like this. I wanted to to mulligan it a couple more though, and look for the one drop since we had the attack token on turn one. Like, if we have the attack token on turn two, so the one drop doesn't matter nearly as much, maybe we just keep that glimpse beyond. I know what lurks in the shadows. Alright, we'll just attack right away. This honestly could be a turn to rally. Spending it playing Solari Priestess. Um, that's nah, five damage. I'm just gonna pass. Okay, so they have the one thing they can block right now. So I could go Oblivious Islander into Nocturne into, you know, Relentless Pursuit. Or I could just go Relentless Pursuit and then Nocturne. That'd be like seven damage. Then we go to our turn and attack. Well, let's play Wraith Caller. So it looks like they, they did not have Heimerdinger because they are playing all these Flash of Brilliances. Stop. Four? No. Not four damage. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. I am the rose. You are the thorn. Lucky you. It's really annoying. Alright, so we can cast Ranger's Resolve, keep our Wraith Caller alive. Which is probably worth it. Um, I think I also block here so that my 2 1, so we can challenge, you know, how we're going to give this thing, we're going to give like this 4 3 vulnerable. Where 
I guess I can't... I just can't do everything that I want to do. I can't... So if I, I could go... Okay, so I can go Islander, Nocturne, Relentless Pursuit. But that, that problem is the Nocturne only gets to attack once. Oh well. I guess that's just how life is. So with the Nocturne minus one minus zero, the only thing that we'll be able to block a fear something is the now Sump Dredger. And we'll give the Sump Dredger vulnerable. And then we'll challenge that here. They can't block either of those. They take seven. I'm assuming the two four blocks the four one, maybe, but maybe it doesn't. Okay. So we'll put them down to six. So Relentless Pursuit puts them down to two. And then I have Doom Beast with them at two. Their deck's definitely going to be playing the Nexus Healing. Alright, well Nocturne will be leveled up now if we find another Nocturne. They have three times as many cards in hand as I do. <laughs> but all we gotta do is two damage. Alright, hopefully it works. There we go. GG's. No Guiding Touch. worked out. Garen Fiora with Targon. One drop. I just like these other two, three, four. I was definitely thinking about mulliganing Skitter. That was the other card. I was thinking of mulliganing. But just like last time, one to keep Elise and Wraithcaller. Because it is kind of awkward playing Skitter on turn three, right? Like, I can't... Like, if I just play Skitter immediately, then they can play, like, Fiora. And easily block. Okay, well, now that they have that thing, I guess it does make it easier just to play Skitter. Get that thing to being three power, because it does bump up the Elise, so it's not like... Um, Fiora kills. My faith protects me. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. Shield Bear is just perfect against our deck. Is that the best card in the format against Fearsome? Probably. A two mana three six blocker. You're covered. Yeah, this didn't go good. Alright, so planning on playing Glimpse Beyond. They challenge here, I glimpse beyond. Well, I guess we have Mist Wraith also. It's either Mist Wraith or Doom Beast after combat. Mist Wraith before to block. Oh. What? That, that must have been a misclick. Yeah, it's true. That that Islander into Nocturne was definitely a bold move, and it did it did pay off. That's true. That egg. Did it move? Quite the dish, aren't you? Good. My heart and sword for Demacia. I don't know exactly how we're ever going to deal damage. That could be how. How do you wield such a clumsy weapon? With justice and honor. 
Isn't looking good. Try me. I wanted to have that hapless aristocrat block the Garen and then sacrifice it. This would be quick. Cool. Oh. Wasn't looking good before, it's looking worse now. At least they're not at 20 anymore. We have that going for us. Justice will be served. Okay, so Radiant Guardian can the Radiant Guardian can still block. It's weird they led with Radiant Guardian instead of leading with Solari Shield Bearer. That's kind of weird. I think attacking is our best plan. So I, I think we're going to sacrifice... Sacrifice the Mist Wraith. Or sorry, the Wraith Caller. Like this, this two two should just be blocking my three two. I think. I know that's four damage on their four five, which is good, but need more cards. Okay, well, we're pretty even in play and in hand and everything. Fairly even. Why have we never no, another Garen. The outcome was obvious. The problem is Rel Relentless Pursuit doesn't work when you're fairly even. You need to be ahead. So I'd like to. Another Nocturne is our best draw. Yeah, Nocturne's the best draw. Frenzied Skitter. Well, not great. Probably the next best. No, probably Wraith. Probably um, Wraith Caller. We do what is right. The next best. Protect and strike. So they're at six. They have three blockers. Oh, stop them. Nocturne. Not Nocturne. I pull the string. Well, I mean, the good news is we're kind of in it. My opponent should have won this very easily. You know, like they wasted their Pell Cascade earlier. This they did not do a very good job playing this Radiant Guardian either. This game shouldn't be close at all. It's still not very close, but. Well, I mean, I guess it's close in the fact that we could do four damage to them. We could put them down to two. Out from the darkness. If only you were something that dealt two damage for Lawless Pursuit. I will end this here. But unfortunately, you are not. We're at the deck of three two and four two fearsomes. Do, do not like seeing a deck of four fives and five fives and eight eights. Those are too big. Everything I've worked for. We got him down to two. Maybe we draw our third Doom Beast. Oh, Nocturne, you were the next card. You would have been so good last turn. Yes, I do, Juhan, and yes, I do. So I do every day. All right, GG's.
Not a very good matchup. Trying to make it. Alright, we got Shadow Isles, PNZ. This will be fun. Got like a, a burn deck over there. Probably a bunch of smaller units. Hapless Aristocrat is going to be playing defense for us here, but probably doing a pretty good job at playing that defense. That's a good draw. Nope, Aristocrat too slow. Lady Elise, where are you? Lady Elise. That's a pretty good draw too. Turn these mistresses into three twos. Turn them into Arachnoid Horrors. Pretty confident we're going to win this one. Fairly confident. Okay, so... Alright, so this is Professor Von Yip. That's what they got going on. Professor Von Yip. Not sure if I really want to play Islander. So I could well let's see. I guess if I Yeah, because if I play Islander here, I still can't play all three of these next turn. But I could play Mist Wraith and Skitter. I think we need to do that. No, we missed. We only have four Demacia cards in our whole deck. So 4 out of 32 is 1 out of 8. 1 out of 8 is basically 12%. So, you know, we had a 12% chance to miss. That's unfortunate. Ah. Yep, 12% of the time, we'll miss every time. So it should be making them like three power. And so Frenzied Skitter can help quite a bit here. Okay, so we're gonna go. Yeah, I mean, I guess the Doom Beast. I'm gonna play that. And then play Onlooker. So they'll be able to get one blocker. Would have helped if Relentless Pursuit was a fast spell. This would definitely help. Hush now. Because we would be able to play it right now, and then they would only be able to get one more blocker. But they could potentially get two blockers. They'll have priority, they can play a blocker, then I play Relentless Pursuit, then they play another blocker. So young. But good thing Phantom Prankster doesn't drain. Maybe they play another Professor Von Yip here. Ooh. That'll work. That doesn't block either. And that takes up all their mana, except for they can I guess they can still play one blocker with a one drop. Nope. Jeez. 
All right, there we go. That's Fearsome Rally. Perfect Fearsome Rally game. And then Rally. Set that up nicely. Playing against the deep deck. Thresh is a good card to play in that deep deck. I don't know, Skitter can matter, but Skitter won't matter for a while. The problem with playing Hapless Aristocrat is that, um, you know, Hapless Aristocrat, you know, like it's, I'm only getting the one drop and I have, like, I have the attack token on turn one, and I have this other one drop that I don't even want to play turn one. So you'd think that I should keep Hapless Aristocrat, but Hapless Aristocrat is so weak just only doing one damage, it just doesn't, it doesn't do enough damage to matter in the game. We need all of our cards to do more damage than what it does. And so that's why I mulligan Tapless Aristocrat. Yeah, it's, this just isn't the matchup for it, basically. So I, I know they can play De Dead Bloom Wanderer or Jaw Hunters. They'd be able to play those cards anyway. Like if I just attack for three and then they play Dread Bloom Wanderer or Jaw Hunters, it doesn't really like make it better for me. All right, so if I play Hapless Aristocrat right now, no, we're not going to. I think I'd rather save the Aristocrat to help turn on the Nightfall on these cards than play it for one point of damage and like and attack in with the two one that let them block there. That works. Well, it was fresh. So you want to be able to turn on Nightfall for Nocturne. Um, I guess that thing won't be able to block. I want them just to gain two life. And that also gives me the attack with the onlooker helps the nocturne level up. Alright, so they're at nine. The rock must be cut away. After egg, did it move? Debo four! I reset for 10 months. Thank you so much. Thanks, Debo. I really appreciate that. Our fourth sub of the day. Okay. So they, are, they are able to challenge both of my fearsome cards, which isn't great for me. It's not great for me. Their thresh is at two. Oh, they did not. All right, so they did not challenge the other fearsome card. Close. Definitely see them having Devour Depths and that being their plan. Good, more Fearsome. That Skitter is good also, keep the Thresh from blocking. Abyssalai. I guess we are going to be able to attack and just give everything fearsome with Nocturne. Yeah. 
Pretty surprised they didn't challenge my Nocturne. They're just, they're just dead now. GG's. Good job, Nocturne. All right, Fearsome Rally doing good, three and one. But we're having fun. Like, we're still, you know, like, normally you still play against good decks and everything. See, Trundle Trindamir, it's a good deck. No, with us drawing the other, if they would have challenged Nocturne, they could have maybe stabilized, but with us drawing the other Nocturne, we were gonna be able to win anyway. Um, let's get rid of that card. So I could, so I could go for like the turn one six damage, and then it kills my onlooker. But you know, turn onlooker into decimate. That's probably not bad, right? Like just having zero mana decimate. That's probably worth it. The other option, of course, was using Stalking Shadows. Uh, like, just playing like Onlooker now, like waiting until Stalking Shadows get an Ephemeral, have that Ephemeral cost less. Uh, six damage turn one's pretty cool. Good. Keep the pressure on. What's the point of Islander? I guess just to do things like that. Just make it... Um, and I'm saving Stalking Shadow so we can play that, then Doom Beast. Just make it a little... Make our deck a little faster, I guess. The War Mother will unite us all. Takes the Gene Onlooker, thank you. So the question is, do I play around... Today we fight as one. Do we play around Avalanche? We could have Avalanche or Icequake. Or not. Alright, well Elise does a good job of, like, we get to play Elise first. That's actually, that was actually a really good draw. No. Do not heal your Nexus 3. This is my Rangers Resolve. They heal their Nexus 2. Eh. We'll just do this. Yes. Another Onlooker. Perfect. Let's go. It's going to be the best avalanche of all time, if they have it, or they're dead. Looks like they're dead. Turn 5 kill. Going to be a turn 5 kill. No. They, okay, Troll Chant. I was going to say, Vile Feast actually would keep them alive, but they, they would have just played Vile Feast or, or Unspeakable Horror. They could have just played those before. That still doesn't save them. Turn five kill. On turn five, they play Grasp the Undying, Troll Chant, Troll Chant to keep me from doing all that damage, and they still died. How crazy is that? Killed them on turn five through Grasp the Undying, Troll Chant, Troll Chant. And dead. GG's. All right, so Fearsome Rally. Got uh, got some good stuff there. That was that was awesome hitting that third onlooker. That was perfect. Um, Stygian onlooker was amazing. Um, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. That turn one Islander onlooker attack for six. That was definitely good. So that was a sweet turn five kill. All right, so we did pretty good. You know, four one. Yeah, we had we had a bad matchup, 
you know, the, our loss, that was a really bad matchup with the, the deck that had the two mana 3-6 and then also, you know, Garen and Radiant Guardian and Fight Spells. That's a tough matchup. And Fiora challenging. But, you know, besides that, pulled out the wins in all the other ones. Pretty cool little showing here for uh, Fearsome Rally. Um, all right. Cool, cool little deck to play, and just another another way to play Nocturne. You know, if you're trying to look for a new way to, to, to play Nocturne, give this one a try. See how it goes. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know how it goes. I would love to hear some feedback with this deck if you try it out yourself. Um, yeah, let me know if you uh, are experiencing the good fortune that we did. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Fearsome Rally, and I'll see you for the next video.